Howdy, man. Welcome back to Midwest Access. I am now Oops. joined by Angie and Brandon. Thank you both for coming out today. How are you today? Good. Happy. So we have a first of its kind event coming up in Rochester that we're going to be talking about happening tomorrow. What's uh, What do we have going on? So tomorrow we have the Not Back to School Fair, which is for the homeschooling community in all um, around Rochester. And so we're going to have that at St. Mary's University, the Cascade Meadow campus, which is right in Rochester. And it's from 12 to 4 p.m. And so we're going to have different vendors. Uh, we'll also have food, games, crafts, and then presentations by different vendors, too. And then Brandon, I think you kind of had a list of some of the vendors. I probably do, written down somewhere, but I also have ADHD. <laughs> and so we have a toy library that is going to be coming. We have uh, the local capture the flag and tag group that's going to be coming, self-defense institute, classical schooling, a chess club, ninja coders, mm -hmm. code ninjas, there we go, gotta get that brand name correct. Basically Rochester is this wonderfully chock-a-block with talent place. And especially when people first get into homeschooling, they're like, what do I do with this opportunity that I have? Mm -hmm. And the answer is there's so many wonderful things that they can tap into. So we're doing this fair to make that really easy for parents to tap into those things. And it seems like, kind of like what you mentioned, ta not only tapping into it, but also maybe uh, getting able to meet other people in their shoes, maybe. Well, you know, I'm sure that for families, this is a big step to choose to homeschool, homeschool their children, correct? Yeah. There's so much, it's an interesting thing with homeschooling communities. There's always a lot of people who are just getting into it and have no idea and we feel like our heads are falling off. And there's this other contingent of people who have been doing it since the beginning of time and they know everything and they are these enlightened sages on the mountaintop. And so some of them are going to be there tomorrow. They can just answer any kind of question that people have who are even interested in potentially getting into homeschooling. Wow, and uh, where, so you mentioned it's going to be here in Rochester. What, what do people need if, if they're going to come? Just show up with your kids, really? Yeah. Yep, it's just um, showing up with their kids because what we had found, the reason we kind of put this together is because we found that there was a pretty significant group connection between all the homeschooling families in the Rochester area. Mm -hmm. And then COVID happened, mm -hmm. just like everything else, all those connections kind of broke down. And so um, I was teaching a homeschooling art class at St. Mary's and with those families we saw that there were so many needs for connections and so then that's how we kind of put this together and then um brandon had come up with the name because i think you knew of other other activities that also had this as well and so yep that's all people do is they bring their kids they bring their families they bring ideas that they have so maybe that there's something they really wanted to see happen and they don't see it yet mm -hmm. so we'll have places that people can put their ideas and suggestions up and then also they can um, come away with a bunch of material because this is this event is not for any kind of selling or any kind of it is just Strictly for making connections and building relationships. So that's why we're excited to have it. Wow. That's awesome And again, it's tomorrow noon to four. Yes, perfect. Well, we have much more uh, on our website for this as well Thank you both for coming out today. Yeah. We greatly appreciate it. So again, we'll have a link to uh, not only the website of the event But more information on kttc.com. We'll be right back with a look at your response to the question of the day right after this